my name is Dr. Nettie Leibert from Leibert Equine Nutritional Consulting, and I'm hoping you'll join us for our webinar on Tuesday, October 15th at 7 p.m. Eastern Time to learn more about winter care for your horse. And you may wonder why, what's so special about winter? Why do you need to do anything different for winter? One of the main concerns is that the effect of cold on horses causes them to need more energy to keep warm. And one of the best ways to do that is by offering good quality hay. Uh, for most of us, especially in the Northeast and the Midwest, in the winter time, temperatures get below freezing, we get some snow, and pasture and grasses go dormant for the winter. So we rely much more on hay for our horses' forage needs. Um, so I'll talk a little bit about some good quality hay and some not so good quality hay. I have a small sample here I'll hold up to the camera, which is a grass mix hay. And it's pretty good. It's uh, soft and leafy. It's green and fresh. It smells very sweet. That's a sign of good hay. If you see something like this, this is a, a seed head in some grass hay. And they're not bad. Most hays will have a little bit of this. But if your hay is mostly this, it was probably over mature when it was cut. And it may not have all the nutritional value that you want, especially for the winter when you don't have any pasture grass. But that's okay, there's ways to fix that, which we'll talk about in the webinar. Also, another thing you can do is substitute beet pulp. This is some beet pulp that I've soaked for my own horse, and he'll have some of this in his dinner tonight with a few carrot treats thrown in, of course. Uh, beet pulp is a highly digestible fiber, so one of the byproducts of fiber fermentation in a horse's hindgut is heat, which is why it's so important for your horse's diet in the winter. So aside from the importance of forage, we'll talk about body clipping, we'll talk about some of the challenges of exercising your horse in the winter and how important turnout can be. When is it okay to ride in the snow and when is it not? Uh, we'll also talk about, uh, again, a little bit about blanketing and how to measure your horse for a blanket and how to determine what kind of blanket your horse needs. It's all very subjective, but I'll give you some guidelines for that. So please go to MyHorseUniversity.com and register for the webinar on Winter Horse Care Considerations, Tuesday, October 15th at 7 p.m.